Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne back again for your mid-September horoscopes for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aries. Um, <clears throat> so just to give you guys an update, I'm, I'm basically I'm just saying this for all of my videos. I'm going to be moving all the way across the country from Virginia State to Washington State. Um, and um, I'm not going to be doing any videos for... Um, the 22nd or 23rd, that's, um, next weekend, basically, um, because of my move. Um, but I will be, I'm giving people my cell phone, they can call me to schedule reading or to do reading impromptu. Um, I'm also, you know, I'm still doing private reading, so if you are interested in doing a private reading, I'd love to do one for you, uh, if you never had one. Um, my readings are really in-depth. People have asked me a lot about my readings, and um, my readings start off usually with a general spread and then branch out into each, you know, specific thing. I do people. I do, you know, career relationships. I do it all, really. Um, I do health. I do, um, you know, any situation that you feel like you, you want to talk about. Um, I don't give legal counsel. Um... I can tell you overall things about the situation, but I don't do legal counsel. I don't really do sports. Um, for those of you <laughs> who are really into sports, I don't really do sports. Um, and I just claim that any suggestions for health stuff, you know, um, it's just, you know, food for thought, really. Um, I'm not liable for, for any of that. Um, but I do like to, I, I can pick up on a lot of things on, on pets and diet and kids. So I do a lot of that. Um, so I, you know, long story short, I'm not going to be doing any, um, dailies, daily videos until early December until after I've moved. Um, but I'm still doing my mid November, which is today. And then my December videos, I will be doing, um, you know, in a couple weeks. So, so anyways, Aries, I, I'm going to give you your update because I've just given you my update. And just going to kind of reshuffle here. Huh. I don't do a lot of reverses, but you got a lot of reverses in this one, and I'm just going to kind of go with it. So, the, the main thing that's going on right now is you're focused on your relationship. Maybe if, maybe if you're single, you're focused on having a relationship. This could be like a new romance, too. This can be an older romance, somebody who's been... Um, together for a really long time. It's interesting. I kind of feel like some of you um, are older, maybe in their 50s or 60s, and you're and you're looking for love, or you're questioning maybe um, somebody that you're dating. Um, you know, is it good? And, and they're definitely mutual. There's, it's the two of cups. So it's like you know, both of you are into it. Both of you want it. Both of you, you know, there's work to be done in any relationship. There's work to be done. Um, in the relationship so that's what makes it a relationship it, 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 it would just be I think well even friendship is a, is a relationship even friendship you have to put work in you have to call you have to check in you have to see how the other person's doing so it's interesting that um that that's coming to me. I don't know why. I feel like the relationship with you that you're in, Aries, if you're in a relationship, man or guy or girl, whoever it is, you're you're very much focused on it. And you're putting a lot of energy into it. And you're wondering how much energy or how much you should be putting into it. Um and what's crossing you is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is contentment and happiness. And feeling emotionally full. This is also an older guy, an older male. So, you know, like I said, it's interesting that I was talking about an older female. Older female, you know, you may be um, meeting a, a new guy, you know, or you may be dating an older guy. Um, and, um, hmm. 
And I, and well, Harris, that just came to me. Some of you may be the older guy <laughs> that are watching this. You're like, oh, well, that's me, you know? And I know, I feel like some of you are going to be like, well, isn't the King of Cups, you know, da da da, whatever sign? But I don't feel like, I feel like it could be either, either one. Um, Aries, you could be the one. You could be for you could be an Aries guy that's older that's watching this video and um, checking it out. You know, um, the foundation is actually a lot of fire energy, and it, I think we got this before. And, and it's interesting because we got this. Um, you know, this is you know Aries, your fire sign. You know, you always kind of are fiery. You're always kind of fired up. Um, you do get burned out every now and again. So you know, I'm saying that too because you may have felt burnt out in the past. Um, because this is the death card and the death card is just, it's, it's, you know, the Phoenix and the Phoenix rises from the ashes. So in order for there to be ashes, it has to get burnt out and then it has to rise again. And the fire has to kind of start up again. So, um, this is the foundation. It's like you're going through you or you're coming out of a time of transition, a time where, Things are really, really, really changing. Drastic change. We're talking moves. We're talking financial. We're talking jobs. We're talking relationships. We're talking everything, everything, everything. And if you haven't been feeling this energy, then I feel like you're going to be feeling it in the next two weeks. Um, it's impossible for you not to feel the foundation card. The foundation card is can color basically the entire thing. So if there's fire under your butt, which is what I think there is, then you're going to feel that way. Um, interesting because in the past, um, you've got this, um, the Queen of Cups there. So in the past, there was... You know, either you're, either you have your own psychic gifts and you're the medium yourself, Aries, or you were, um, you know, in a relationship with this person, or it's possible that, um, you came in contact with this person. I mean, I feel like a lot of, a lot of my clients have had readings before, so you may be a previous client of mine and that, that could be me <laughs> that you were talking to, or you could be, um... You know, just, you're looking for answers. You're, you are you want to know. And so, you're, you know, maybe you're talking to a psychic, you know, about your life. And just because you want more answers. Because the, and the psychic, I feel like, has given you a lot of them. Um, and um, the tortoises are calling to me. So, I'm going to look at this. I just noticed this. You're going through a period of reflection, you know, and in Aries, you know, that's kind of like your lot in life. You spend a lot of time staring at yourself of your reflection in the mirror. And a lot of Aries are a little bit narcissistic, but that's just the way you're born. That's what the energy you're born into. So it's not like it's your fault. It's just like, that's the, that's what's there. And so you're, you're going through, you've been going through, I guess, in the past, a more reflective time where you're spending a lot of time l reflecting on things, taking long periods of where you're just, you're, you know, you're not focused on anything. You're just being reflective. You know, you're trying to figure out who you are and what you want to do. And it's just a time of reflection. Um, or it was a time of reflection. I guess for the last two weeks, that's what you've been doing. Um, you could go back farther than that to two, two years, actually, too, uh, that came to me. Um, and then the, um, the energy right now is interesting. It's more fire energy because here in Aries, you know, it's not surprising that you got the Joan of Arc, uh, Richard the Lionhearted, um, card and you're a little bit um, aggressive. You've been really, I feel like you've been really aggressive lately. You're on the offense. Okay. And, um, you may have some Capricorn or Leo in your horoscope and your chart. I, I would say horoscope in your chart. Um, and then what's coming, what's, um, coming that you don't see is the miser card again. 
so this is, you know, um, where you really need to be conscious of, of, of what you're giving to others. Um, you know, some of you are like, well, I do give to others. I give a lot to others. Um, it's more of the, also having the attitude of gratitude and also financially, what, what are you financially giving to others? Because it's like, it's sort of like, this is kind of what I think, um, not, this is maybe a bad example, but I imagine the miser to be this dragon, right? Who has this whole, like, cave full of coins. But then, when he thinks about giving something to someone, he doesn't go into his cave and give them the coins. He goes out and he buys them a $5, a cheap $5, like, you know, lip gloss. Or, like, this is a you know, chapstick that I, that I love, you know, he buy and this wasn't even $5. This is like $2. Okay. But this is just an example. Okay. So, so he, he goes out and gets them this cheap $5 thing. So he doesn't even have to touch his cape full of coins. And that's kind of just how I'm feeling right now about you Aries. I feel like some of you that's what you're giving and that's that's not encompassing all of the ways you could be giving and it's not you need to go into the cave and take out some of those coins and go and and do something with it you know do something positive with it um i don't care if you write a check for a thousand dollars to everybody in your family this christmas you know go to the cave you know, even if you gave it in cash, it would be even better if you gave it in cash. Um, but, you know, don't, I guess what's coming to me is just don't be cheap. You know, this Christmas, don't be cheap. If you have a cave full of coins, don't be getting little things that don't, that, that are just cheap to give to others. And I know this sounds shallow, but it's coming up, it's coming up, so I'm just saying it. Okay, some of you Aries are very giving. Some of you already give a lot of your time, already give a lot of your, um, you know, finances to. I'm talking about the people that have the cave full of coins. This may not be you. But also, for those of you who don't have a cave full of coins, this is a time where you need to actually be more open. This is something like, this is your challenge. I mean, in order to have kind of like a happy ending, you need to be more open. And right now you're very closed. Um, you're going into you, what you don't see coming is you're, you're kind of going to be more closed. You're going to be more, you know, again, that reflection, um, you know, you're, you're holding on. I feel like you're holding on to something and I'm not particularly sure what it is. Some of you are holding on to a relationship. That's what's coming to me. Some of you are holding too tightly to your money and some of you are holding too tightly to relation to, um, I guess on to relationships that maybe, maybe aren't your spouse or aren't your partner, just relationships in general. Um, the two cards that are in reverse are the devil card. And <laughs> it's sort of the image, you know, it's, it's an incomplete card because I don't, I don't have all of my cards that have re reverses. I, I call it like an incomplete card. My feeling is that if in a magical kingdom this was happening, this is just everything kind of falling apart emotionally. Like you're really just emotionally falling apart. You're not, you're mo like, you're, see, so this girl's in this cave. Okay, so the, the girl, sorry, this girl's in this cave right? And they, it's a flimsy cave. She doesn't realize how flimsy it is. And she's chained to this devil, right? The devil is just not a good person. Uh, the devil is also chained to money, being a slave to their job just to do. It's like doing a job just to do it. And it, it's sort of like you have no interest in doing it, you know, anymore. It's just something you do. It's sort of like you become a robot in, in, in certain things, a robot in your life. <sighs> 
And um, what would happen if if this is reversed in, in a magical world, literally, she'd fall. He, the devil would sort of, um, the devil's going to take flight. Okay, the devil's going to take flight. But he's going to leave her, she's still chained to him. So it's going to be not so good. It's sort of like the devil's going to try to leave, but then she's going to fall. All these rocks are going to fall. The devil's going to get hurt, um, physically hurt, and then she's going to go with him, and then she's going to get hurt. It's just not pretty emotionally, okay? This is not pretty. This is, this is you know, destruction, you know, like emotionally. This is not... Uh, not what I would want for for you lovely Aries. Not at all. This is... Whoever you're married to, if you're in a marriage, they're going to get hurt. And then you're going to get hurt too. Um, because she's still chained to the devil. So, and, and even though the cave, you know, sort of like... It's sort of like you're going to be free from this cave, but you're going to still have to deal with the devil. I feel like... How, getting a divorce is highly advisable. If you're in a relationship, this is highly advisable for you. It's it's absolutely really imperative to do that, to do so. Um, that's just my my feeling, is if you continue on in this relationship, then it's just going to be a mess. Because all these rocks are going to fall down. You're going to be falling down. You're going to get hurt because you, there's nothing to land on. You're going to fall on all those rocks. And then the, the devil is going to have wings. So the devil can take flight, but you're a chain of the devil. It's like you're going to get dragged. It's like that movie, um, Back to the Future, where he goes, he goes way back to the Wild West. And he gets dragged. And that's what's going to happen. You're going to get dragged through the mud. It's like, a, it's like one of those long, like if you're in a relationship, it's going to be one of those long, drawn out divorces where you're literally like, dra the whole thing is getting dragged to the mud. Your life is getting dragged to the mud. Their life is, their reputation. I mean, it's just, it's just nasty. Not fun. Not fun. You know, if you guys are going through a divorce, you know, or you're thinking about divorce, you know, you want it to be quick and you want it to be pay pain painless and that's it. You do not want to drag it on forever. If you do decide to drag it on forever or you just don't decide to settle for, you know, to, to work it out, it's going to be painful. It's going to not be pretty. It's, it's, I, I don't recommend it. Not at all. The crazy thing is <laughs> you have, you have two very, very, very opposite cards. What's coming in from the universe and what the outcome is. What's coming in from the universe is being lifted up out of hardship. This is separation. I, I, I feel like this is clear here. You guys need to separate from your partner. Um, this is separation. Aries, those of you who are single, you're in a bad way emotionally. And what's happening is you're so... Um, you're such a slave to your your desires and to the devil and the devil is money and the devil is a job doing it just to do it that you're that it's hurting you it could be physically hurting you you could have some physical ailments that are that are just it's not and it's and it's bringing a lot of unhappiness into your life um just to go back um but anyways this is you being lifted up out of hardship financially being lifted up out of hardship and you know it's not surprising because aries um, generally have people that around them that help them because an Aries is very I feel like the Aries is very helpless in some ways it's just you know you're kind of helpless and you need help you need people around you that love you and that help you and support you and that's what's going to happen you're going to be helped out in some way um, the universe is sending that to you you're going to be helped out the problem is is that the outcome Despite that is the opposite, which is having a lot of problems, needing to ride them out, not being lifted up, being pulled down. So the universe is like lifting you up, but then at the, towards the end of November, you're, you're, you're feeling like you're not, you're feeling the opposite of this for some reason. You're not feeling this. Like you, this is what I think. The universe says, okay, 
dear, you need to leave this relationship. You need to separate. You need to get out. Okay? Right? That's what the universe is telling you to do. But because your attitude is Sorry, I'm reading my handwriting and it's very difficult. <laughs> it says, the end of winter, spring is coming, star power. Oh, starting over in relationships. The ice melting. Mountain streams, clear water. Okay, so your attitude is the, the um, queen of swords in reversed. And the Queen of Swords in reverse is um, starting over. It's springtime. It's your attitude is you want to start over a relationship because you see that this is not the relationship that you're in is not good. Um, but the problem is, is that you either you don't want to leave or you just don't feel like it's you're ready to leave or something. It's like preventing you from leaving and you don't feel like you're supported in the end. In the end, you feel like you're still getting dragged down. You feel like it, you're overwhelmed. You feel unloved and unsupported. And I think the problem is that you do need to leave. That's the problem. I feel like you want to start over, but actually leaving is difficult for you. For some reason, actually physically leaving, actually physically separating is difficult. And it's just going to cause you so much grief um, in the end. This whole thing is causing you. I feel like it's causing you so much grief. If you are single, um, the, you have been through a lot already previously in relationships. Um, and you want a new relationship. But the problem is at the end of the month, you've got a lot of issues. You've got a lot of problems that you need to sort out, that you need to write out, that you need to wait out. Um, and I'm going to pull another card because I don't like leaving on a bad note. And this is what I would call a bad note because it's just a lot of, a lot of drama, um, right now going on for you, Aries. Lots. Uh, you know, and I pull this other card and, and this is how I'm going to leave it because I, I feel like this is what needs to, what you need to hear is it, it does end in divorce. It does end in the tower. It does end in a broken home. It does end in, um, sudden, you know, sudden trauma, so, something happening. And it's also emotions, you know, exploding to the surface, big fights. Um, this is a pretty clear, I've got a, really the clear picture here, Aries. And my counsel to you is, if you're in a relationship, it's time to separate. It's time for you to move away, move out. Okay, pack your bags and go. Um, if you're having, fi if, if financially you can't do it, um, you need to, you know, ask for help. Ask for help from your family because this is financial assistance from your family and take it. Um, and, and start thinking about starting over. Um, you know, going outside. You know, it's interesting because I, I mentioned Switzerland um, in, in on that card. And I don't know why I did because I, I wrote it down a long time ago. So the card is about moving away, moving maybe out of the country. If you've always wanted to go to maybe a colder climate or um, you need to go away to heal. You need to have some healing. After all of this trauma, you need to go away to heal. Um, if you've always yeah, wanted to go outside of the country, Switzerland would be a great place for you to go. Europe would be a great place for you to go. I'm feeling that you need to literally go um, away and get away. Um, for those of you who aren't in a relationship, you know, I feel like financially things are going to get better. In the end, there's some traumatic stuff that's coming up at the end of the end of November 
one of part of the problem is you feel like you're not supported enough. So even if your family is helping you, you feel like they're not helping you enough. Maybe you want to go away. Maybe you want to go out of the country, but you can't quite get there. Um, you're blocked from getting there. And, you know, your physical residence um, is, it's no longer what it used to be. So you may be, you know, just having, going through a really tough move. Um, you could be going through um, just feeling like some kind of tra trauma with all the stuff that's happening um, in your life uh, if you're single. Um, but I think for everybody else who's in a relationship, who's married, they're going through a really, really messy divorce or breakup. And it's going to end in breakup. But this is, I think I saw this before for you guys. And I feel like maybe it didn't happen then. But I feel like the energy is back for it. So it's like some of you maybe didn't want to take the next step and moving away. But now, now would be the time to do that. Um, and, and, and I, I can't tell you that th this, this is very intense energy. Um, this scares me for some of you because, um, you know, I don't want this for my clients. I want, um, you know, the lover's card is the outcome for every single one of my clients. I, I just don't want the negativity, you know, for my clients. So I really just wish you the best with it. Um, I, you know, I'm going to leave it there, even though it's maybe not the best ending, because I feel like that's the card, the next card that I pulled. And so even if I was to continue to pull more cards, I feel like that's, that's the outcome and that's the reality and that's um, things, something that you need to face. But I feel like you never have to go through all of this alone. I want you guys to know that. I mean, there are, there are counselors out there that are willing to talk to you. I feel like definitely get some counseling. You guys are more than welcome to call me if you have relationship questions. Um, you know, I like I said, you know, my private, I'm happy to do private readings for you guys. Um, but I feel like now's the time to call some friends. Now's the time to get in touch with family. Now's the time to go see a counselor, talk it through, you know. Now's the time to take some time for yourself and, um, and, and really get grounded and get centered and, um, you know, start, um, you know, planning, planning your, your trip if you're, if you're going to, or planning a move or, um, you know, getting out of the situation, figuring out how you're going to get out of the situation without it being a disaster. Um, and being practical about it. Um, and that's what, that's what I suggest. So I send you lots of love, big hugs, big kisses, and I will talk to you guys again soon. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys. Stay tuned for my, uh, December videos in a couple weeks. Thank you. Take care.